Okay, here we go. Hi everybody, Blue and Pudgy here again. So it's Tuesday and I finally was able to fully edit and upload the um, beach cleanup me and some of my friends did on Sunday. Thank you so much to Lindy and Daniel and John for helping to come over to Kauai Harbor and dig out this net. And especially, especially thank you to Lindy and Daniel for providing the tools and some really smart thinking. <laughs> um, we dug out, like, I s we think, I could be, it could be an exaggeration, but we think it was maybe at least 800 or 900 pounds of fishing net and ropes from under the rocks and things that had been stuck up against or, you know, tied into and mixed into the other net that was washed up on shore. There was just so much and some of it was even illegal net. It was uh, like I measured it and it was only about like an inch. I believe the legal size mesh for a fishing net is two inches. This one was only an inch. Some of it was e was like even shorter than an inch. So yeah, I was gonna go back later today and go check and see if anything had happened to the net. Like maybe somebody picked it up. Cause last time somebody did or the other net that I pulled up on shore. But uh, anyways, so we we. We got the net out and we put it on the side of the road and it took us at least seven hours just to dig all that stuff up. But again, thank you so so much, especially to Lindy and Daniel. They stuck with me all day and we pulled and tugged and dug and buried and got it out. <sighs> I'm so tired thinking about it. <laughs> But anyway, so the web blog and some pictures are going to be in the description box. You can check out the video that I posted before this one to see, you know, some of our efforts of digging out that huge jumble of net and things. I almost I almost did something slightly illegal and almost drove my truck onto the other side, but I didn't. And we pulled it out using only like two shovels. Uh, two hammers, a couple of pocket knives, a dive knife, and like some sticks and used parts of the rope and you'll see in the video. It was it was kind of crazy and it was so tiring and you can just see all the other plastic debris that washed up along with the tide and it's just ridiculous out there. I wish you could take a vacuum and just like suck up all the little pieces of plastic <laughs> that I see on the shoreline because it's crazy how much plastic are out there and people fish out there. So it's really like to all the fishermen if for some reason you guys watch this video I really wouldn't be fishing out there for now. If anything I'd clean up <laughs> that area first and then I would fish just because there's so many gross things that have been happening out there at the harbor. That harbor really is not a healthy place, in my opinion, to be fishing or swimming or let alone eating anything from that area just because of how much plastic debris and people even defecate in that area. Like when we were pulling up the net and we were putting it up on, on the other side of, uh, on the other side of the road for people to see, there was like somebody had taken a crap right there. Somebody had taken a crap right on like one of the pillars and they must have wiped themselves with their underwear because it was just left there me and my friends were just looking at it like ew <laughs> so just I wouldn't in my opinion I wouldn't be catching or eating anything from that area just because of how badly polluted it is how messy it is and how much and there's very little respect for that area so it needs to be cleaned up first before, you know, anybody really, you know, should catch anything and eat from there. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. Like I said, check the description box for all the links and things. And um, I guess talk to you guys later. Shoot your boots. Have a good day.